There was a lot packed into that question. Must have taken some time to write. So my first question I wanted to ask about, there's a recent New York Magazine article about how the White House polices language in Washington um, that I'm sure you read the other day. And a particular graph points to an Associated Press memo that advises reporters against using the word crisis, um, which the administration has, has said that they're not going to use the word crisis for the border. Uh, it cites a person close to the White House as saying that one very real possibility is that the strategy works. They may get criticism and think pieces about it, but at his 100-day mark, Biden is the most liberal president we've had, and the public thinks he's a moderate. That's a winning strategy to me. They're willing to accept that you're going to write this piece as long as they know that swing voters in Colorado aren't going to read it. So does this reflect the White House's thinking that the goal is for Americans to view the president as moderate as he pursues, according to the, quote, the most liberal agenda that we've seen? There was a lot packed into that question. Must have taken some time to write. I, I will say that our goal is to implement solutions as it relates to uh, the challenges at the border and not to be caught up in semantics of what we call it. Because at the end of the day, what we've seen is a massive reduction in the number of children who are being detained in uh, border patrol facilities, thanks to the actions of this administration. We've seen a massive reduction in the number of hours kids spend in border patrol facilities. And we're continuing to work to get kids into the arms of their family members or to sponsor homes. Uh, and that's what our objective is. I can't speak to a blind anonymous quote from somebody outside of the White House, which we'd all be for banning those if others would want to commit to that as well.